This guide is a quick list for the top 30 tips and tricks that will enhance your gameplay experience in Barra Trauma. Hopefully there's enough for beginners and even veterans to take away. Upgrade your regular diving suits to the combat diving variant, as they are faster, offer more protection, and are rated up to 6,000 meters. Use stimulants such as tonic liquid and hypozine to gain extra health and speed when doing dangerous missions outside the submarine. Increase your submarine's capacity by using resource containers inside lockers. This is so you can organize and hold more resources. You can deconstruct storage crates for steel. Normally, when you buy items from outposts, they are delivered in crates. These begin to clutter your submarine quickly, so deconstruct them to remove the mess and also pick up a free steel bar in the process. Put crates in the deconstructors so that items are dropped directly into them. This is so you can get more storage and make it easier to transport items to the fabricators or merchants for sale. Use waterproof crates where possible, including explosive, medical, and chemical crates. These will stop any resources that react to water exploding unexpectedly. Don't carry potassium or sodium near airlocks or areas where water commonly gets on the ship, as again, you don't want things exploding unexpectedly. You can sleep off minor injuries instead of using medical treatments. This is great as a top up, for example, when you have accidentally fallen down a ladder. The end of the plasma cutter is the hottest part, which makes it faster to cut through doors and minerals. So make sure to keep a distance and just get the cutting at the end of the tip. You can load explosives into rail guns and depth charges for extra damage. This is great when taking on larger or more difficult monsters in the game. Deconstruct different items to gain advanced resources. When you are in a pinch for rare metal, you can, for example, deconstruct explosive ammunition or Fulgarian batteries for their base resources. These are both available at most stations, whereas the rare metals are not. Use plants as a way to generate extra revenue. You can sell off all the proceeds at stations and on a single trip, bag yourself between 800 to 1,200 in extra revenue for selling plants. The medic uniform has additional storage for medicines. You can currently keep this loaded into an inventory slot, which means you gain three extra slots specifically for medication. The regular diving suit and the abyssal diving suit have 100% resistance to radiation, making them ideal when you are using nuclear ammunition or in a Jovian radiation zone. Unfortunately, on single player though, your crew won't automatically wear them. Use different gear to help boost statistics and increase damage resistances. These can be crafted, bought, or found in different locations, with pirate submarines currently holding the best gear in the game. Always bait a pirate ship into an area that has a seabed below you, otherwise it might head down into crushing depth, meaning you can't loot it. In the abyss, there are islands with denser and more rich resources to mine. Just be aware, there are also abyssal monsters down there. Use flares in caves ahead of yourself to lure out monsters. This will give you a great advantage, especially when dealing with thresher nests. To save on ammunition, use Raptor's Bane Extract with the Medic Gun to one-shot Mud Raptors. Avoid Ballast Flora by looking for it on the radar. It will appear as small glowing particles. This begins to occur in the second part of the campaign and beyond. The quickest way to deal with Ballast Flora is by using grenades. Always have some on hand to get rid of it quickly. Make sure to loot a Moloch after killing it, as it drops resources and armor that you can use. Help your buddies out when recovering artifacts by one of you going limp and the other one grabbing them and giving them a ride with the scooter. Shut down your reactor when it stations as it uses fuel rods even when you're still docked. 
To save on fuel rods and power, only use the fabricators or deconstructors from stations themselves, and not your own. Add a power input to diving lockers to turn them into slow oxygen generators. This will require rewiring them to an active power source. For mining missions to be more efficient, make sure you have a mechanical engineering skill above level 30, as below this you will use oxygen tanks three times faster. Be wary of submarine wreck missions and keep your distance from an infected ship, as a thalamus can control harpoon flesh guns and even gun turrets that will shoot you. If you find an alien gun, it has just become the most powerful plasma cutter you have. This can decrease your time spent on alien ruins as it will immediately cut through walls. Use oxygenite tanks where you can as they last three times longer than a regular oxygen tank and they will increase your movement speed by 30%. I hope you enjoyed these 30 tips and tricks to help you out in Barrett Trauma. If you did, be sure to leave a like as it helps this video reach more people. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, peace. Na, na, na.